Report Report. Your child depends on you for their every need. So how do you give them what matters most? Calvary Christian Academy offers a Bible-based curriculum for pre-K through 12 in a safe and nourishing environment. At Calvary, we focus on student needs with programs that inspire them to grow in mind, body, and soul. We encourage God-given creativity and academic excellence. Calvary Daycare, 2139 Jacksboro Pike in the Wallet. Call 423-562-7267 for more information. Hello everybody, David Grimman here with the Sports Report. Rob Kerr, one of the coaches of the Calvary County High School Lady Cougars soccer team, had the girls out working this past week. More talent, more athletic than last year, according to Kerr, so they should do better than they did last year. Now they'll have some upcoming games in August. On the 18th, they're at Anderson County High School. On the 26th, they're at Scott County. On the 28th, they're at Victor Ash Park in a tournament down there. And we're talking about girls' soccer, high school soccer, that is. Now, they're planning on building a website just like the boys' soccer team had this year, last year. And we'll get that link for you as soon as we get it. The Calma County Youth Football Association played in the Anderson County High School Jamboree this past Saturday, and they represented very well. They looked great coming out in their dark gray uniforms with blue numerals trimmed in orange, and they will have their own jamboree up at Calma County High School this Saturday, and we'll get more information on that today. Brad Honeycutt and the Lady Cougars went to a Lady Vol practice back on July the 7th and meet the team. He was very impressed with the way they practiced and he wanted to give his young lady cougars a good idea of how college teams go about their business. An enlightening thing for our young lady cougars who have been working hard all summer long, getting ready for the rigors of the upcoming season. And we'll keep you posted on the lady cougars and the cougars basketball team as their season draws near. Close to 80 boys and girls signed up for spring soccer this past Saturday at the new rec center. We spoke with Mike Riley and he told us since it was tax free weekend that may have put a damper on things as he only got 80 kids but he expects more this next Saturday and they'll go at it again. They'll have sign ups from 9 o'clock to 12 p.m. at the rec center and the entry fee is $50 per child. So take your little one over there, pay you $50 and sign your little one up for Calma County Youth Soccer. August the 7th will be the Jacksboro Middle School Jamboree. Jacksboro Middle School, the Eagles, they still don't know who they'll be playing yet, according to Brent Hill, but they're going to get started around 5 p.m. down there at Jacksboro Middle School. That's this Thursday, August the 7th. Now, Monday, we're going up to Jellicoe High School to help them with their picture day. Chris Cannon of the press and myself are going up to take some snappies uh, for their football programs. And then on Tuesday, we'll both be up at La Folla Middle School to take photos of these guys as well for their programs. The Cougars football team had a scrimmage this past Friday, but it wasn't much to talk about, according to Coach Frost. The team played young, but he did see some talent, and of course, no coach is going to show his hand right now, especially when these games don't mean a thing other than evaluating players. Now, they'll have another scrimmage this Friday against CAK at Campbell County High School, and we'll get up there and get the story on how this year's team looks. He was impressed with the offense as they had plenty of reps, but his defense is young still yet. Talented, but still young. When every second counts, count on Vital Care Med Trans. You do have a choice when it comes to ambulance service in this area. So when you call 911, ask for the best. Wait a minute, are you out of here? Yes, we are. Oh, good. State-of-the-art equipment and a well-trained staff who stand ready to respond to your call. That's Vital Care Medtrans, when nothing but the best will do. That's right, boys and girls, the Splash Park is open every day except Sunday from 10 to 6, and they're open Saturday from 12 to 6, so like these little guys say, come on down to the Splash Park and cool off. Jake's Day at the Wild Farms right around the corner. It'll be August the 23rd at 8 a.m., and you remember last year they had all kinds of fun for the kids, hunter safety courses, fishing, and a lot more, and they even got to shoot shotguns. Now, think about that. August the 23rd, 8 a.m., be there. And we'll get more details on that as the time draws near. Band camp is going into its second week up there at Campbell County High School. They'll go from 2 o'clock to 9 p.m. this week. So if you get there at 8 o'clock in the morning, then you're probably there a little bit too early as they will go from 2 to 9 p.m. 
Now they have a new drum major, an outstanding young man in Andrew Prim, and their theme this year is going to be Phantom of the Opera. We're still hoping to get an interview with Adam Wright. Cougar football is less than three weeks away when our Cougars will travel to Cumberland Gap to take on the Panthers up there. Now we don't have a Jellicoe schedule yet, and we don't have an Eagle football Eagles schedule yet, but we do have an Owl schedule, and they're set to play Clinton at home. Thursday, August the 14th. One note on their schedule, though, they will play the Eagles early in the season this year as they will play Jacksville Middle School on the 4th of September. That's the fourth game in their season, so not going to wait around this year. They want to get it over with and move on. Okay, that's a real quick look at today's sports. I thank you guys for being with us. You guys stay tuned. There's a whole lot more to come right here on WLAF.